morning, welcome to Weast Allotments. Uh, today we're going to slap some lipstick on the pig. You're probably going, what? And what? No, what we're going to do, we're going to be given the, the full plot of facelift. Um, it's about time and what I get it, give it is his spring coat. So, um, last week I had a word with, the, uh, with my mate Alan. Um, chairman on Weast Allotments. I said, look, Alan, says, you, this guy who delivers the wood chip, can you get him to drop me some really good stuff off? Not a problem. Anyhow, the very next day, wagging turns up, full load of wood chip, and it's all, uh, it's a combination of um, hardwood, and there's a little bit of um, pine in there as well. But most of it was hardwood, so uh, yeah, it was really good stuff. So, what we did, we had a couple of a couple of ideas what we wanted to do. Um, but I, I put, I, I think, well, it must be. There was two ton bags what we filled with um, with wood chip. And that was for another project that I wanted to do after I'd done the the paths and everything. So I'm going to show you the where we got what the wood chip looked like, and then what we're going to do. Um, we're going to show you exactly what we did to make the, the plot look a little bit nicer. Look at that there guys, three wood chip, absolutely beautiful. The darker stuff's uh, hardwood and the lighter stuff is um, pine. It's the uh, dark stuff what we want, it lasts twice as long. Well. As you can see here, got a bit of wood chip, got two um, one ton sacks of uh, what you get you what you get sand and gravel in. Well, we just put a load of wood chip in these and these are all gonna be used in the greenhouse. As we were saying in the, the last video, um, we was gonna basically do all the paths on the allotment well. I can show you now as we speak all the beds all the paths we've all got a two inch layer of um, hardwood wood chip all the paths have all been done nothing missed out Even the back got done. So as you can see, it's looking lovely. Now you're probably wondering, well what the hell's all that other wood chip for? Well guys, uh, let's come round here. These little buggers here, they've turned that to Soil. There's a few, this is, there's some big pieces of wood chip in there. But what we're going to do, we're going to dig at least one of them big bags full of this wood chip out. And while we're going to stick it, we took away this um, current bush. It was doing no, nothing really, it was just in the way. Well, all that compost there, we're probably going to use that in the potatoes. Come out of this bin, it's just pure chicken manure. Um, so this bin now is empty so what we'll be doing is putting all the, the bedding into this bin of the chickens um, and probably tomorrow we can get round to it this bin here is absolutely full to the top we can't get anything else in it in this compost bin same with that compost bin there um, but we, we don't need any really. Uh, maybe this bed here, I was thinking about putting all that compost, what you just saw there, into this bed here. But that to mean I'd have to just pull all these onions out. And they're not doing too bad, guys, really. They're doing okay. Okay, the shallots are a bit sad. All uh, them are coming out um, tomorrow. Uh, they're going in the, the compost bin. We've, they've, we've had one or two, but, mm, uh, you know. It's, uh, we'll, we'll grow some more now. So I will be putting a load more shallots in there. But uh, 
there's nothing in this bed so we probably pile a load more onions in here and uh, you know but as as um just looking around the plot everything seems to be looking pretty good all the paths seem to be uh, well they look tidy anyhow that's the main thing it's just making it look a bit respectable uh, we've had a bit of a problem with the, the frost today as well inside that greenhouse we lost some of my peppers and my um, tomatoes I'm not very happy about it I lost about eight of them uh, the temperatures are where they are it's, it's like from 23 degrees all the way up to 100 degrees and uh, where they were in the middle there they were actually getting cooked so we've dropped them lower down and tonight we've put them in bubble wrap so we'll see what happens tonight other than that they won't be there tomorrow we'll take them back home unfortunately I lost quite a few a bit gutted about it because we got them to like three inches high these um, chilies there was jalapenos there was some peppers there was um, there was uh, some scotch bonnets we had some money maker and we also had some um, Elsie Craig as well they were all two two three inches tall and they looked really really well well, we've lost quite a lot of them, so I'll show you that again. I'm a bit gutted about it, but uh, like I say, it's uh, all been wood chipped again, so we'll be able to kneel down here. I was inspired by um, Julie, Julie's allotment. She inspired me when I saw her do hers, and uh, fortunately for me, I had a word with um, the chairman, and um, he managed to get me a truckload delivered, so... That's what all this is. All been spread. Spread the love. So as you can see there guys, all of the back, the front, it's all been done now. It's all got a brand new top coat of our wood chip on it. Um, I must say, I, who, who inspired me to do it was um, Julie from Julie's Allotments. So I was watching her doing her allotments there. She's been changing everything around all the beds she's been moving paths here there and everywhere i don't know how the girl's got the energy i really don't at least when she goes home of a night she can have a bit of fun with all that um wine that she makes in beer <laughs> yeah i think she's not a bad artist as well guys you want to go and check her channel out um yeah but she inspired me to actually sort my get mine back up to scratch well i think scratch anyhow out of 10 I'd probably give it a 4 of a 5 I don't know what you'd probably give it less but there you go that's sod's law for you but um, yeah the, the plot's looking good so you saw them two big sacks there of wood chips so you're probably wondering well what you got them two big sacks for well um, about 3 months ago we we put about 4 inches of uh, wood chip into the, the chicken pound or chicken pen and basically the little buggers have turned it to um, compost and what I should have done when I first did it was dig down and take the last lot out which was about another six inches of uh, compost which I left in so all the chickens did was go down four or five inches and then turn the stuff what was on the the bottom into onto the top and basically rotted it down so my problem was I didn't have a compost bin because I just removed this one here for the shed what we're going to be building and um, I had nowhere to put it. Now the other two bins are full to the top so you know there's, there's nowhere I couldn't put them in there so I had a few more of these um, tum bags these I think they made as Essien or something daft like that what they put sand in and gravel and all that lot so I had a few of them so what I decided to do was the, there was a, another chicken manure bin um, right next to the, the compost bin so we tipped all that into one of these bags and then we got another bag put that on top and then me and my lad got stuck into the pen we took about a foot of this um, wood chip and cut well, this compost but there was a bit of wood chip still left in it we took it all out and we put it into the little black bin and the one of these big sacks and basically filled it right to the top now that's going to be rotting down for another another eight nine months once it does we're going to rotate we're going to put that into the into the back beds and we didn't do it last year because we started 
off doing things too soon really um, we've, we've got a lot of stuff out there growing now I think it was Nigel who said well, uh, where are you going to put it all Matt you've got that much stuff going well we, we do we are not be going all what you see there Nigel we're just going to be growing a few of the things the rest of them we give to everybody on the site you know give them away like and let them grow stuff and what have you but um, yeah, we've got the we've got the plan. It's all worked out. But like you say, we're a bit tight for space. And um, what didn't help was me emptying the the compost out the the other two compost bins. That's what we do. We we dig it out each year and we put it onto the beds. But this year we didn't do that. We just did one bed. Um, I was watching Nigel learn. He does very similar to what I do. He digs a trench, throws a load of horse manure in, then bat, bat, bat fills it, digs another trench, horse manure bat fills it and goes all the way along his bed and then just lets it settle until he's ready for planting. Well, that's how I normally do mine. Um, but like I said we only did two beds this year. The rest of them we've left um, because they're, they're pretty good, pretty in pretty good nick um, you know, and there was a lot of stuff growing in them so we couldn't do now. But uh, yeah, so anyhow, we removed all the the, the wood chips. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna show you a couple of clips here of the what it looked like before and what it looked like after. Pity you're not getting on of this. This is the this is the uh, wood chip that the chickens have uh, basically. Um, turn to soil and uh, as I'm digging there they've got the reds in it little buggers as you can see but we're we're going to be adding a lot more soil uh, a lot more wood chip in here so we need to get as much out as we possibly can so anyhow let's crack on I don't think there's anything worse than digging Chicken shit. <laughs> Look at these buggers here. Unbelievable. I've got to tidy all this, I've got to clear all this lot, and I've got to put new wood chip in. You've got to take forever. I'm waiting for my lad to turn up to start wheelbarrowing this stuff down to me. It's a bloody nightmare. I've got them fighting with these little buggers here. As soon as I get a shovel, they're in there excavating, looking for worms. I don't know. Right, you two, bugger off. Well, um, we just finished uh, putting the floor in the the, the chicken pen, and uh, we dug a a foot of um, old wood chip with the chicken manure in it. It was basically soil. When we got down a few inches, it was just rotted completely away. So. Uh, we we all, we bagged it up into some big Essian bags. Them bags what we used what what had the wood chip in. Well, we've um, we had a few more bags and what we've done. We filled them bags up and then we poured the two bags what was at the front of the plot into the chicken pen. And uh, as you can see, they're digging down there. They're, she must be eight inches deep now, and she's still on wood chip, which is a good thing. This one here. <laughs> this is Katie by the way, she's got a purple band on her foot. There's Gemma over there having a drink of water, she's got a yellow band on her foot. The one with the green band, that's uh, Lisa. And the one who's digging there, that's um, Courtney who's uh, lost a band. She has a pink band. But, uh, yeah, they just started to get all the feathers back on now. They've been in them, uh, it's been molting over the last uh, month and a half, and uh, the feathers are all starting to come back. Well, most of them are back now on this one. Well, on, Gem on Katie, I should say. What are you up to? Hey, you little bugger. You're getting closer to that door, aren't you? You trying to make an escape? Get out of it. Right, we're going to leave you with that picture. Uh, 
So as you can see, clearly see there, we was being out by the chickens and um, at the end of the day um, the chickens uh, were loving it and at the moment they're actually digging little holes and they're all buried in the holes and keeping warm. They, they, they make like little indent indentations and like um, have, have wood chip baths, basically what they're doing at the moment. So yeah, they're quite happy. We've just got to clean the coop out now, so I've got a plan for that. Um, it won't be me who's cleaning it out. It'll be someone who wants some wood, who wants some chicken manure, and there's plenty of the guys on here who will die for it and fight to get hold of it. So I'm gonna put the word out. The first one over with a, with his wheelbarrow, he scrapes it out, and then what I do then is go in with my blowtorch and blast everywhere, all the joints on the inside of the coop, the doors, and then we. We put that um, red mite uh, powder down and put wood chipping and not wood chipping um, sawdust in for the for the um, for the feet and then we put um, a for them to nest in and basically that's it they they be happy as pigs in muck basically but um, yeah we'll we'll get a volunteer to do that. Um, the reason why I go round all the joints is just to, to make sure there's anything, anything, any creepy crawlers in there, what shouldn't be in there. We get them all in one go. So, um, if you keep chickens as well, you probably do something similar. Um, but it does, going round with a blowtorch and all the cracks and everywhere, and just going over it quickly, it kills everything inside it, basically just to sterilise it all. And... Um, yeah, the chickens will love you for it as well. So I hope you enjoyed the watching these uh, couple of uh, couple of clips what we threw together today. Um, what do you think? Do you think it's ready for spring? <laughs> Honest opinions, guys. <laughs> hey. And uh, no obscenities. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Like I say, thanks everybody for um, subscribing to the channel and leaving all your comments. You know I do answer them um, when you leave them. Uh, you, anyone who stumbles on the channel, um, who fancies uh, watching a few more videos, a little chicken here on the right hand side, give it a press and then um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's a lot of builds coming up, competitions um, in the very near future and um, a lot of how to do things and what have you um, so I'll keep you all posted but for now uh, goodbye